problem one. We're trying to find the sum of 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared all the way up to 99 squared. So as you can see here, the base numbers of each of these exponents are the consecutive odd integers. 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way up to 99. And we have to add them after they're squared. So which formula do you think it looks most like? Well, I think it looks a lot like 1 plus 2 plus 3 and all of them squared all the way up to um, n squared, right? Well, right now we're missing all the even numbers. So a good trick that you can do when solving problems like this, when it looks like a formula, but it's, it's just missing something, you can first add that something back in. So this entire thing is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared all the way up to 100 squared. Remember, we're going to put that 100 squared back in, all of the even numbers. And then we're going to subtract what we put in, which is 2 squared plus 3 squared, uh, sorry, plus 4 squared, all the way up to 100 squared. All right. So now that we have this equation set, we can first find um, the sum of the very top number. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared all the way up to 100 squared. Pause the video and see if you can solve it according to our formula. Alright, come back. Um, so that would be, remember this formula? 1 sixth times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So this this is the formula we're going to use for the first one. Um, over here, n can be replaced with 100. So this is 101. This is 201. And there's still that 1 sixth. Well, 1 sixth, let's see if we can cancel it out first. Um, we can divide it by 2. This is 50, this is 3, and which of these other numbers is a multiple of 3? 201 is. So we can divide 201 by 3 as well, and we get um, 201 divided by 3 is 67. All right, and after we have this, right, we have 50 times 101 times 67, um, we can, it's equal to 50, 50 times 67, and that's equal to, we can break it up, so for the tens place, okay, 50, 50 times 67, for the ones place, we get 0, 5, 3, and 35, 35,350. And for the tens place, we get 0, 0, 3, 3, 0. Okay, so 303,000. And we add that, 0, 5, 3, 8, 3, 3. So this is what the top part equals. 3, 3, 8, 3, 5, 0. And be careful with this. I don't want you to have any mistake with this. Um, multiplication because that's actually one of the easiest easier parts of this problem so make sure you're careful about that now we have to do the bottom part well isn't this basically the same as trying to solve this alone like are we gonna put in the odd numbers in because that wouldn't make sense well let's see if there is some sort of relationship here 2 squared is equal to 4 and 4 in Okay, I'm going to extend this a little. 6 squared and 8 squared. It would be much, because all of these are multiples of 2, it would be much easier if it was just 1, 2, 3, 4 as the base numbers put in it. Um, so let's take a look at this. 2 squared is equal to 4, right? And 4 
is four times one. Now what's four squared? Four squared is 16, and 16 is eight times two. Six squared is a 30 is 36, and 36 is 12 times three. So what we can also do right here is factor out a four from the parentheses and and we get so sorry, let me erase this. We can factor out a four. And then we get one squared plus two squared plus three squared. And remember the last base number was one hundred, so divide that by two, it's fifty. So all the way up to fifty squared. Now everything is much easier. We can apply this again, but this time we're replacing everything with 50. So pause the video again and see if you can do that. All right, and we get, I'm gonna erase this so we have more space. All right, and we get, again, it's 1 sixth times 50 times 51 times 101. First, let's try to get rid of this denominator on the fraction. 25, this is 3. Now, which of these is a multiple of 3? 51 is. So this divided by 3 is 17. And we get 25 times 17 times 101. So we could try to do 25, 25. We first multiply 101 and 25 together and times that by 17. Stack it. Now we get. All right, we get 17,675. And then it's just a one, so five, two, five, two again. Add it together. 42925. So this uh, parentheses would be 42925. But remember, it's four times that. So what is 42925 times four? That's equal to, all right, that's equal to 171,700. This whole thing will then equal 338350 minus, all right, now we subtract. Should be pretty easy. All right, so our final answer is one six 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 five zero.